the World Pool Masters is a very special event. There's never going to be an easy match or an easy draw. It's like a dream. It's a very big tournament, play the best players in the world. There are 16 top uh, world-class players. It's a really strong field, really, really good mix. It's called the World Pool Masters for a reason. Party Poker World Pool Masters is one of the most coveted titles in nine ball pool. If you're not invited, you can't play. So for the 16 world-class players here in Barnsley, England, taking down this title is extra special. The draw is like a who's who of pool, featuring names such as Ralph Suke, Darren Appleton, Alex Pagulayan and Shane Van Boning. Defending champion Carol Skaversky was the first casualty, quickly followed by female star Guyan Kim and Carl Boys. Now our next match features two of the biggest names in the game, Mika Eminen and Efren Reyes. Pool is my, it's my life, you know, I eat and breathe pool. You aspire to be the best and, and uh, you, you put your heart into it. Efren is my first round opponent. We've had uh, a lot of battles and we go back and forth. He's obviously, a, you know, he's a legend. Live a legend. I'm gonna have to bring uh, my my whole arsenal against him because he's he's always got answers. I've been playing, uh, you know, Mike Morning. Every time, every time he beat me many, many times. But uh, sometimes I, I beat him too. But it's very hard to beat him because he, he got a very strong break. I feel good about my form. You know, I'm coming here. I'm ready. Definitely one of my, my dreams to win the World Pool Masters because it's such a um, trademark event. I like to win the World Pool Masters because I, I never win like, like that. I try to win, I always try, but pin is only second every time. Two greats of the sport going head to head in round one. There really is no easy match here at the World Pool Masters. Imminent took the early initiative. He won the lag and despite a dry break, capitalised on a rare safety error by Reyes to take the opener. On then to rack number two. With me in the broadcast booth is Alex Laley, who's got very fond memories of playing yeah, Efren Reyes rack, in the World break, Pool Masters. Tell us two. about it. Um, the final in 99 and the semi-final in 2000. Great memories, but so long ago, Phil. A productive break for Mika Imonen, although he does not see any part of the one ball, so it will be a push out. Maybe a kick shot. Sometimes you'd want to not give your opponent any options. Depends how that one ball is sitting. If he can get to it over the rail. You don't like to give Efren Reyes options. I was very impressed by Mika Imminent at the recent World Cup of Pool in partnership with Petri McConan. They put up a really stout title defence. As for Efren Reyes, what he doesn't know about Pool. Yeah can be written on the back of half a postage stamp. But he is 59 years of age these days and not the force he once was. But he can still hit his high gear. There was a final in Norway of the Bergen Open this year that he played, played against Niels Feyen. And he absolutely drilled Niels. He won 9-2 and he played perfect. Mika now faced with his own position managed to avoid the double kiss very containing shot but executed to perfection good shot yes that World Cup of Pool I was telling you about he was the senior partner of course as Finland got through to the semi-finals overcoming the likes of England B and Korea 
Austria also as well in the first round before eventually losing out to the Dutch 9-4 and even in that match the Finns didn't make any great mistakes it was more to do with the the Dutch efficiency too thick a contact for Afereus wanted to get to the other side of the nine ball still a tall order for Imanen to get to the two ball from the one using the natural angle nicely a little straight if he can punch in the two ball and come off off the long rail he should be out from here he's had a truly glittering career as Mika Imanen won back to back US Open titles what an achievement that was and in 2001 perhaps the the cherry on the cake he was crowned world nine ball champion in Cardiff, Wales. He recently won the ultimate 10 ball in the States. Played against Wang Ken, a new revelation from China, by the way. I think a winning streak comes in cycles and Mika Imonen's lasted a long time but it's some years ago now and I think he's getting ready for the next one he's looking more energetic at the table more powerful and he's got mental stamina to burn when he won the US Open in 2009 he won 14 straight matches. In this contest, he simply has to win eight racks. And he secured two of them already. Started with that nice safety after Efren gave him back the table. Smart push out. And when he got the opportunity, he was very much on message. Not the best of breaks there, though. There's two ways to execute a cut break. Generally speaking, that's a three-quarter ball hit medium hard with body action or cutting it a little more spinning the cue ball just like Mika Imena did it's more like a soft medium medium hit and I think the latter is harder to execute consistently He has a shot on the one, and he has Efren as an opponent. Does he want to get involved into a safety battle? He did win the last one. Makes a world of difference how close you position that cue ball behind the blocking ball I don't think Efren has a route in between the rail and the four ball he's messaying into the rail oh. <laughs> what a shot great shot actually I must say it, it is a great shot but the rail in this case helps it makes it easier 
for that cue ball to hook towards that one ball. Well, they call him the magician, and we've just seen one of his tricks. Looking at a containing safety, at least the object ball safe, and maybe the bonus. A two-rail escape over the right side of the table for Efren. He's favorite to hit the one ball. But of course he would like to play a resave to make something happen here. Travel towards the four. Wow, what a shot by Efren. He chose a more difficult path, one rail, but with a bigger probability of getting lucky that's what he always says I got lucky but the more I practice the luckier I get nearly for the key ball Jawing in the jaws of that top pocket has really helped Efren Reyes. Really helped. His tactical mastery and ability to see a shot that no one else can, I think, is unparalleled. There, though, fortune helped. Beautiful. You can't beat that. A big miss there by Mika. It was not an easy shot. You'd expect him to make it. Yes, especially after the momentum gained from that one. And so Reyes should have the simplest of propositions to run out and make it 2-1. We were talking about the World Cup of Pool right at the start of this match, of course, Alex. Efren Reyes and Francisco Bustamante won the inaugural World Cup of Pool and their popularity in their native Philippines knows no bounds. Put the shoulder into that, not exactly technically textbook, but it worked. It's not a jury sport. It sure isn't, but there, Efren Reyes found guilty of pulling a rack back. He trails 2-1. Welcome back to the Party Poker World Pool Masters. This error by Mika Eminen, close to the end of the fourth, cost him the rack and the lead. Reyes with ball in hand, level the match at 2-2. On then to the fifth. Two balls down, but he needs a third ball to cross the line of the kitchen. This is an illegal break and control passes. Yes, the break rule incorporated in this tournament is that you have to have three balls cross the head string, which is the pool equivalent of the ball climb in snooker. Either that or balls across the head string and balls potted need to be three or more. And there, requirements were not met. Nice try by Imonen. He did not get there. 
Efren sees the three ball. He can pocket. But he is considering, has looked at the three nine Karen possibility. And didn't deliver the cue with the required subtlety. This can be considered a sellout. Wanted to hit the three ball softer. Wanted to play it as a shot to nothing, leaving the three with the five eight. Good speed. It's close to his work, but this will be the key shot. I do think the five goes to the side pocket. Well, what an excellent try. How unlucky. He stuck to the intervening ball. The black eight. That's not too bad. Leaving maximum distance for Efren. Efren who is still struggling in this match. Scores leveled, but he hasn't looked fluid. Well, I was just about to say that with the passing of the years, the one part of his game that's become a weakness has been potting from distance. But there, no problem whatsoever. He used that special shoulder push technique. You've been out there on the table with him, Alex, in high-profile tournaments. I suppose his reputation is worth a couple of racks. Yes, but the good thing with Efren is that he, in most of the matches, he does make one, two mistakes. He steals many racks with little tricks and special shots, but he also make, makes mistakes. He'll soon be 60, but I tell you what, he's still a rare competitor. Imminent was unlucky to snooker himself like that. Great pot though from Reyes to get himself in. And from there, the rest was routine. Three racks six, from Reyes to break, leading three racks to two. Last break of Efren, he made two balls, but no third ball crossed the line. He needs to add some speed. <coughs> okay, this is a legal break and a perfect shot on a one. This should be a rack point for Efren. Could be a good rack for him to gain momentum, to pick up some rhythm. He's playing in England for the first time since 2006. And right now, a marginal favourite, you would say, to make a winning return. He's never won this World Masters title, one of the few big events missing from his CV. But compatriots do have their names on the trophy. Francisco Bustamante in 1998 and again in 2001. And Dennis Acolo in Las Vegas in 2010.
You can't keep a champion down. Efren Reyes leads 4-2. Efren Reyes, he has got so many titles, basically, he's lost count, so have most people, but he doesn't mind winning another one here, you know, he would love to be World Masters Champion, and right now, in the first round against Mika Eminen, he's the man in control, 4-2 ahead, and breaking off in rack 7, although that, not to his liking. He is making balls though. Previous break was successful, led to a run out. That is something that Ibonen, without a doubt, has noticed. Good speed, just no snooker. Actually, it came out too much. What a testing shot on the one this would be. Imonen likes to hit the ball at medium pace. He's not a player to float the ball as Suke does so much. If you're just joining the program, I can tell you that Imonen looked very good indeed in taking the first two racks. Since then, though, Reyes has reeled off four in succession. And the early self-assurance displayed by Imminent. Well, it's a little lacking at the moment. Especially if the gap is there for this shot. Well, how about that? He overcut the one ball. And he's left it on. Did not have an angle to draw straight back and play the two in the same pocket. But this is good. Nice angle to punch towards the four ball with the cue ball. And he's out from here. What's well, not a guarantee, but there are no challenges any further. No clusters, all pockets available. I think it's fair to say that Mika Eminen is the best cueist that Finland has ever produced. One fine snooker player emerged from Finland by the name of Robin Hull, who won the World Junior Championship at one point. But sadly, illness has docked him during his professional career. Eminem was actually born in London, England. But he's a proud Finn. And he continues to represent that country exceedingly well. And knowing that Eminem has started with snooker, he's an accomplished snooker player, it always marvels me the way he prepares his shot, his pre-strokes, his warm-up strokes. There's no pause. Imminent back where he wants to be. Winning racks. Rack eight. We get Imminent to break. Train three racks to four. Okay, so the aim of Imminent now is to draw back onto level terms. He hit the break too soft. The corner ball, the wing ball of the rack was heading towards the corner pocket, but too slow. And it was kissed away. Not an easy positional route though for Efren. Maybe he'll try and kiss the two ball. Is it luck? 
Well, it was an educated guess. Any place better than where it was situated before. <laughs> Didn't fancy the 3 8 combination. Has to settle now for this tricky shot. Well, he loaded up with side, didn't he? And with the cue ball and object ball so close together, judging the potting angle is never easy. And the two things together made him miss it by some way. Grossly undercut the red three ball. Needs to make a lot of angle off of the four. Well, the matches ebbed and flowed, and if this one goes in down the rail. Almost certainly, they will be locked together again. These two, colossally talented, colossally successful. When an immovable object meets an irresistible force, something has to give. But which one is which? Here, Efren Reyes and Mika Imanen, tied 4-4. Rack 11, Efren Reyes to break, 5-5. A superb match in progress at the Party Poker World Pool Masters. Racks 9 and 10 were shared, and so 4-4 has become 5-5. Anyone's guess who will go through. And a repeat of previous breaks of Efren. He is making balls on the break. He is controlling the cue ball, but that one ball is traveling slow and again covered by another ball. But Efren is not the best breaker in the world. That would be an understatement because the break is his weakness. He does not have different types of breaks to choose from. Does not have that luxury. Another player perhaps possibly would try something different if one sort of break is not working. Imminent sees the one, part of the one. So what can the magician have in mind? The safety is tricky. He would need to go between the red three and the pink four. He's loading it up with check side. Oh, nice shot. Nice try. I do think it was on, he just executed it poorly. Twice in this match, Imminent has led 2-0 and more recently 5-4. Can he thrust his nose in front for a third time? Wow, used a lot of the jaws there, that was not a clean pot. And his prevailing emotion when the ball finally flopped into the pocket must have been one of immense relief.
Yeah, this match has the same vibe for me as the match between Boyes and Feyen. Quiet, please. A lot of tensity in the air. It's a first round match. Players very respectful to their opponent. Somewhat anxious. Yes, and with the lineup here, there's no such thing as a soft opening. You have to go in running, considering the level of opposition you're going to face. <laughs> well done, Mika Imminent. Efren Reyes made the mistake. The Finn did the rest. He's flown into a 6-5 lead. So just two more racks required and the great man Reyes will be eliminated. Within six racks to five. Imminent moved to the left side of the table, his left side. Trying to make something happen. His preferred right side was not paying dividend. And this is He will have an angle on the red three ball. So he will need to maneuver around the five. And that's no good. Possibly too anxious about that angle on the three. Trying to get as straight in as possible. Loss of position, and this is not even an easy or straightforward safety. Big chance of a double kiss. Wow, what a shot. Something to learn there for all aspiring players. When the safety is so difficult, maybe better than to go all in. And shots like that change matches. It looks as though for the second time in the match, Mika Imanen is going to have a two-rack cushion. And from four to a drift, it looks as though he's going to win five of the next six racks. Indeed, no dramas on the nine ball. Imminent moves onto the hill. He needs one more rack to defeat Efren Reyes. But Alex Lowley, Imminent, despite his position of dominance, will know the job is far from done. Two rack 13, Mika Imminent to break. But Leading seven rack moving five. to the left on the break has paid dividend, has given him profit and this also works as a booster of confidence if you know that you have figured out the break and the speed and that you will be getting shots that gives a lot of confidence add to that Efren Reyes not getting position on the first shot after the break a couple of times The four and seven, good place to hide behind. Doesn't need to attack from here. And the eight comes into the equation also.
<laughs> he did it. I think he did it. Well, from Imminent's body language and that of Reyes, I don't think the snooker is there. I think Imminent can get through to the two ball. Just thinking, you know, as Reyes went back to his chair there, it's impossible to calculate how many racks of pool he must have played in his life. He must have come across virtually every eventuality and then played in some extraordinary venues, both in tournaments and for hard cash. What a story he could tell. And after that, he might be playing for a while longer here in Barnsley. The three will part. It's tough, but it goes. Intricating choice of shot by Immonen. He had a straight shot on the two, could have played a draw shot to leave himself straight on the three which seemed to pass the nine ball. Never threatened to the pocket, Efren Reyes. And that is the harsh part that with age, his B game Attention is call. weakening. But now and then, once and again, he can still bring his A game, so it's very tough for him, I suspect, to accept the lack of consistency. Yes, Reyes falling victim to exactly the same thing that snooker players find themselves falling victim to as they get older. Even the very best, their potting from distance and also their ability to concentrate for sustained periods declines. People assume that pool players and aging snooker players aren't so successful as the years go by because of deteriorating eyesight. It is a factor, but I think more important, the ability or the lack of ability to concentrate and the, the fact that the pots go astray. Plus, of course, you pick up more and more mental scar tissue. So here we have it. Efren now needing lot of action on the cue ball over distance he cannot play it with topspin it will kill the cue ball there oh did he make that look easy he cheated the pocket there pocketing the three ball in the side of the pocket thereby creating an angle and enabling him to hit it with stun. Stun draw and a lot of left hand side. All of those hours and hours of playing as a, a youngster, a teenager, then in his prime. And now when he's regarded as a, a grand old master of the game. And regardless of the result here, it's great to see him back on British shores. Using his stroke not to force the angle, but to control the angle. Top players leave angles. They try to avoid the position like this. Immonen had a shot for the match. It was that long cut on the three ball, which he mishit. So after all the mistakes, it will be 7-6. That's right, and make no mistake, there's plenty of life in the old dot yet. Immonen chose to leave himself a bank shot.
hit the knuckle, but after Efren's miss on that three ball, still had a shot. But he left the door open and the magician closed the gap. Rack 14 from race to break. Train six racks to seven. Match four of this fire tournament. Is this the first match that goes the distance? Well, after that, oh dear, what a shame. And Reyes cannot disguise his frustration. He knows the implications of scratching off the break there. It's the worst way to go out. The setup of the balls, well, the only challenge would be from the three to the five what a way to go out Chris Melling there on the right hand side pressure off for him he's already through to the quarterfinals so he can just sit back and watch and enjoy the others sweating it out Yeah, Imonen is quite like Melling, if I have to characterize him as a player. They're no grinders, they're rhythm players with a very high A game. Other players I would study for their B game, their safety, their grinding mode, their fighting spirit, not saying that Melling nor Immunen are no fighters, but especially when they're in the zone, that's when they marvel the crowd and the fans. Mm, played that with a lot of confidence. <laughs> confidence in getting the proper angle off of that third rail. Yes, you have to say, barring a, a terrible piece of queuing here, the writing is on the wall. In massive letters. A good match, Alex, but in the end, Reyes not quite good enough. And the scratch on the break did cost him dear. Look at him and then steps in, dishes up. And with that, he completes an 8-6 victory over one of the giants of the world of pool. Imanen is quarter-final bound. He's a legend. Uh, I was a little bit nervous there in the beginning. Uh, and, uh, but I'm glad it's over with and, uh, you know, on to the next round. You don't really want to get into a safety battle with him because he seems to get out of uh, out of the jail every time you put him. It doesn't even matter where the cue ball lands, and uh, he seems to have a solution. So my my strategy was to like you know just break and run, but uh, I I wasn't really breaking well, so that turned into a kind of a shooting contest, a little bit like back and forth battle. I played a bit aggressive too, just because you know uh, playing safety against him is not always the best solution. So. I made a couple of aggressive shots and I, I, you know, it paid off. So the magician Efren Reyes exits the stage, unable to work his magic, losing to Mika Eminen. Next time, six times Masters champion Ralph Suke will face Moscone Cup teammate Nick Economopoulos for a place in the last eight of the Party Poker World Pool Masters. See you then. <laughs>